Diddy shows twin daughters how to properly wash chicken. I am cooking dinner tonight with my three sous chefs. Tell them what we're making, girls. Um, chicken wings and <laughs> chicken wings um, and salad and spaghetti. Yeah. What am I making? Just spaghetti. <laughs> what are y'all making? Y'all know how to clean. Like Y'all know how to clean the chicken. Come on, Daddy, put gloves on. <laughs> Cleaning that chicken. <laughs> you want me to clean the chicken with you, baby? <laughs> Wait, can it be hot water? Hot water or cold water? Cold water, girl. I like to start with some regular salt and pepper. Doing this turkey. Brown, brown turkey. Sometimes when I cook for people, some people don't eat beef. So this is a healthy compromise. See, I only associate my brands with great brands. Now, Rayo's, if you've ever not been to Rayo's, you played yourself. It's in New York, Spanish Harlem. So I get this shipped in, the Rayos. So I got a little bit of home, because you know, you know where I'm from. 
You know what it is. You know what it is. You gotta, you gotta get love. Yeah. It's cooking with love, baby. Here we go. Not too hard. We don't want them to hit each other, point each other. We want them to have that, that light. Finesse, finesse. This is like a famous Italian restaurant all the mafia guys used to go to in Harlem. You know what I'm saying? You had to have your own table. You can't even have a reservation. You know? And, uh, this way when I want some real Italian food, I go. And you know I got a table. <laughs> And, and what kind of what kind of sauce is this? Jesse, what kind of sauce is this? It's the magic sauce. Oh, the magic sauce. This is your secret recipe. Yeah. All right. All right. That's looking good. That's looking good. So, Jesse, how long have y'all been cooking for? Since Almost three. Eighteen years. Yeah. Eighteen years. Oh, you was cooking before. I hear you, sister. You was cooking before. You was even thought of. Yeah. Woo! Oh, with the bars, just like your daddy. Mm, nah. But they've been cooking since they were like three years old. Always, always like concocting something. You know what I'm saying? So Making and inventing sauce? something. And and so this is a special sauce. So we're back over here on the um, sauce. As I cook it, I like to taste it. it it'll always tell you, you know, I want you to taste it, baby. You tell me what it needs. How it tastes, baby. It tastes good. Tastes good. Uh, oh, you burnt your tongue, bro. And this is my secret. I wouldn't. I don't eat spaghetti often, so. But when I do, this is my secret. I went to Catholic school in the Bronx. Well, sugar is bad, for me, but hey, who would like me without a little sugar? Where you want to taste it? Um, I don't know. Wait, where's the pasta? Ah, almost forgot one thing. I need the pasta. Can somebody, um, can somebody start making that salad, please? What's up? Yes. You know all the great chefs. But it doesn't look good. Yeah, I got the part of full-time because I don't like getting burned. A lot more salt. A lot more salt so it doesn't stick together. That's how it doesn't stick together. Yeah, so. We got the setup, so sometimes I do different pastas. You know what? You could break them. But I like them where you know. This this is this is big. This is what it's about. Tell me how you like the food. Scale of one to ten. Be honest. One to ten. I give it a ten. Mmm. Check you got a little extra sugar on it. Hey, Tim beats a blank. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in to 